class. Um, today we're gonna do an unboxing. No, um, we're gonna go work on that buggy some more. So let's go see if the paint dried. Uh, let's go ahead and switch you over to the other camera and get you outside. And uh, go ahead and let's see what's going on with the buggy today. Um, and we'll go from there. So, there. camera in its enormous leash. There we are. So, let's go ahead and get that going. Sorry. Next one. There we go. I think we got it now. Hey, there's something missing. Someone stole something. What the heck? What the heck? What is going on here? Alright, so what's going on is I took the calipers off. I started painting them two days ago. And I don't know if you can see way out there is my trailer. I spray painted them on there. Uh, I put another coat on because it looks like the spot's missed uh, this morning. But because we haven't gotten that warm yet, the paint's not dry enough yet. And I don't want to handle it and get marks all over it. So. What it was is we were going to run lines finally today, but hey, look at that. Once again, we're screwed again. So what we got here is, is some brake line and some fitting. So I wanted to find out about my fittings here real quick. So here is the caliper for the buggy. Okay, I have no idea what it is. So that's what's going to be fun is I got to do some research here. Okay. So let's open that up. So Here's the brake line needed for our run today. Um, but once again, it gets postponed. Kind of like classes. Okay, and then I got a collection of fittings here. So what I want to do, so obviously these are all designed for that line, which is a 3 16 brake line. So I'm going to open these up. What I want to do, actually, let me go get a Ziploc bag because I don't want those disappearing afterwards. Okay. So I got these. I'm just going to put them in there. So now they won't fall out. Throw that away in a second. So what it is is this caliper is 10.1 thread. So it's 10 millimeter at a thread pitch of one. I have a collection in here, and I'm hoping that I have some of that size. So that way I don't have to order any. So I got this one, and then what I have is up here on the vise.
Let's go this direction. Is the Honda caliper, which happens to be 10 also. So that way, that one's too big. Okay, so all that slop in there tells me that's not right. But it's close to that size. Mm -hmm. I don't pour them out again. So obviously it's close to that one. are not all the same. So here's the what's called the banjo bolt. The banjo bolt because it has a hole here, the hole here, brake fluid comes this way. You see how I'll thread that in. Barely any wobble comparatively. So So, I'm going to guess these are all standard. Which is not helpful. Okay, give me a second. Let me go grab some other pieces. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off real quick because I'm not using the Hondas. They don't fit and all that. So we're going to be using the actual one. Okay, and I got and scavenged these off of some of the cars. So what will be nice is this one will go here and this will go up. I have two bracket holders, so this is going to go like this. Okay, 
then I'll go hard line from here to here and then hard line to here so this is the pivot at the axle this is the pivot at the spindle so that way when the caliper moves a little well the caliper doesn't move at all the piston moves but this way it gives it some flexibility as it deflects and as you can see that's not that part but this part's nice and tight in there and what I also brought or the flare nut wrench sets. Now, I remember these are snap-ons and I only buy their uh, flare nuts mostly because of the thickness. Um, Mako makes them, Car uh, Crescent makes, or Crescent, yeah, they do. And Craftsman and Harbor Freight and all them. But they're not as thick and I really like the thickness. Now I do have a set of thin stuff too uh, just for the smaller ones, but having a thick set definitely helps. Yeah, not a 14. Okay. Thread that down into the caliper. Okay. A little concerned about that. Buggers. All right, so all right, so this is what's going on. This is what you have to report. Let me go to the other camera. So what's going on here is as I thread this into the caliper, this, this is held into the caliper and now this can move back and forth. Meaning if it can move back and forth, that it's not sealing and it would seal up on the back side of this flange. So it tells me I gotta come up with something if I wanna use this line, okay? So 
Uh, some thoughts I have is I could put some sea washers in the back side of this and that will hold that space. Um, all right, so once again, ran into a roadblock. I don't know how these shows do it. Oh wait, they have endless money and they can get parts of the money they want. All right, so uh, today your uh, requirement for your lesson uh, is what are the two things that stop me from mounting that control arm and brakes? So those two things was the paint was still wet and the caliper hose, the, the flex hose I have, doesn't work just right and so I have to adjust it. So once again the two things are flex line, wet paint. So those are the things you had to tell me uh, that why I didn't finish my project today. Um, remember May 8th is when everything's got to be turned in. Um, it's that's it. Uh, so for breaks my last lesson was I think Wednesday the 6th. Uh, so we just have Monday and Wednesday and that's it and we're done. Uh, please get that in and if you guys want to have your grades changed make sure you know to a pass fail or a pass incomplete I should say and so on please uh, get that taken care of that's uh, by parent if you're doing concurrent enrollment that's by you at the college so all right I'll see you guys soon um, we'll probably be doing our activity probably June maybe July but we will have our, our uh, annual hang out at the camp uh, at a barbecue house or like barbecue ugh, burger house uh, what will be nice is it won't be as cold as it was last time oh that was a cold day so all right i will see you uh then and if not sooner all right bye